today this figure will be drawn by statco diagram okay so let's start first of all new project and then space then give your file name and in here i give the name structure 3 okay and unit length is meter and force unit length is kilonewton then next then after this next add beam and finish okay and in here and node snap node beam pop up and cut this node okay first of all node 1 okay x meter length is 0 first node is 0 and then enter speed. again this point is 0 0 point okay and second node will be is my in here my diagram is 4 meter the span length okay so i in here i keep the length is 4 x 4 meter so after the 4 meter i give the enter and okay in here i select the font view to show the viewpoint and after this point view display the node then shift and n the node number will show okay shift and n and after the uh, node number will show then draw the beam cursor okay this cursor this is a beam cursor name is add beam so then select the add beam cursor okay and join this node to this node okay and this is remember also the beam cursor also and display the beam node is shape b and the beam name is also one okay after the beam cursor will the shown the member properties go to the general okay and after the general define different after the define the this my beam is rectangular beam okay so and this is rectangular beam okay x y z and z d okay and in here dimension also give it 300 mm and 250 mm okay but in here you also show that my y in here is it not mm in meter okay so that is uh, yd my yd is 0 0.3 meter okay and and this is 0 0.25 meter so this is and my concrete is material okay not steel okay or not stainless steel not aluminium steel this is concrete okay and add okay and close after this uh, section at first select the beam okay and then assign to selected beam okay and then assign after assigning that that this method you have the chosen the assign to selected beam do you want to proceed yes so after the process the r1 member is will shown okay after the r1 member is will shown then you want to display the section and so shift it and plus x in here select shift plus x the rectangular concrete section is shown and you want to the uh, show the material then shift plus m this is concrete so after display the section section means what section means of your x this is x direction so shift plus x and um, if you want to show the material then it is concrete okay after the uh, this property go to support in here support to create what is how to create support first of all go to general and support sub uh, and then create in here it is fixed and restraint is 
fx fy and fz and mox my and mz okay this is fixed beam okay what is pinch pinch means your hinge beam the restraint will what fx fy fz and the movement is mx and until the uh, uh, mx my and mz the, this is also unchecked and un, in here uh, all movement can release okay so movement are release so that is fixed but is your roller roller means your three uh, any movement the fx fj uh, fy fz all are release okay that means you uh, move the body any direction if you want to uncheck fy fz and and fx the this is are unchecked then again if my m z all the check then this is the bending movement shear force and bending movement and if any movement can be released the roller support okay but still in here i want to in my section is your pin okay this is your pin joint okay and this pin joint is pin okay add after add then sillet support to okay after the sillet support to node go to node start share and sillet the node here and in here i also to create the node and assign to selected node assign this assign method you have chosen to assign to selected node do you want to proceed yes and my node is show okay but fix but is in here not required any discussion up after that when required then i will tell you in general primary trace primary load will be defined now so how to define then first of all go to general okay and and load and define after load and define go to load define section and after the load go load to define section add in here go to load cases load cases details is your defined many type of load cases will be added and load cases details load type okay primary load type in here primary load type which is dead load in here also many load live load seismic load so then i give the name is d l okay title is dl to identify the my load anywhere and after the load dl add it okay and close in here d dl is we show and after the d d load select dl okay and then add in here select the add member load okay why you need member load i will explain you in here this diagram is uniform force all the force is uniform and uniform load is 10 kN per meter okay then so what uh, your w will be minus 10 kN per meter why minus because the roll is downward load is downward okay and direction gy direction is gy load is downward and vertical okay and d1 is d2 and also the important this is start to the version or to save will be now do you want to proceed yes it is required because in many time if your system is off then your start version is safe 
okay it is very important thing and d1 d2 d3 also zero because d1 and d2 is fully udl and no eccentric this and d3 is no eccentric distance okay this is d1 and d2 is fully udl and d3 your d3 is fully eccentric distance okay this is also important and add close okay after the select the select u n i g y minus 10 kilo, kilo newton per meter select and select the beam by beam cursor okay and after the is assign to selected beam okay and assign do you want to assign yes then my diagram will show the beam okay and after the selected beam then here click here and shift the to show the value shift value b shift v shift v means shift value okay minus 10 kilo newton per meter and after the concrete force go to dl and add and member load go to member load and concrete force and on concentrated uh, sorry concrete force not concentrated force and concentrated force is minus 5 kilometer why i tell you this this is my 5 kilonewton and this is minus 5 okay 5 kilonewton okay and d1 d2 is blank because d1 uh, in here d1 is force act on the middle on the beam okay and d2 is your no eccentric distance so that is no value at to required direction is ui add close okay concrete go to concrete and select the select it on gy minus 5 kilo newton per meter select the member by beam cursor beam cursor select the member assign to selected beam okay and assign do you want to proceed yes after this process to go to perform analysis comment menu go to comment menu comment menu go to your analysis and go to perform analysis okay no print required okay after perform analysis again go to comment node and go to after the go to comment menu post analysis required post analysis that sub uh, post print okay what is the post print support reaction support reaction in your in here support reaction okay do you want to view okay and after go to again comment menu post analysis to print and uh, your max for envelope max for envelope option go to okay and after the max for envelope go to analyze and run analyze yes save after the non run analyze view output file okay in here view output file is my all in here zero error one warning one node nothing to be. view to output file go done and after the run analysis that you in here you see your result support reaction max envelope to, to all all is done and it's required to print out in here after run analysis select the f y your f y okay in here share in here all the diagram is shown shear bending uh, and deflection is zero okay ok 
to close okay then how to draw a this diagram you understand in here this diagram and this diagram is same okay if you want to show the 3d view view 3d rendering after 3d rendering you want to also see it and this is your view okay 3d view thank you visit again and comment your opinion if you anything cannot understand then ask me and comment me okay